Hello students, welcome back. This is your Chendu Gaud. In this video, I am going to cover the important concepts as well as the questions related to the course Business Economics as well as Financial Analysis under JNTUH R18 as well as R16 Regulation. Dear students, this course is all about the theory as well as the problems and this is one of the scoring subject in your uh, examination. Let us look at the important concepts and the gunshot questions where you are supposed to learn and prepare these concepts for your exam. The first and foremost gunshot question is all about the explain the phases of business cycle is one of the most awaiting and expected question. Later, the nature and scope of business economics as well as the responsibilities and the functions is also one of the much awaiting and very very important and gunshot question dear students and do not expect direct question. It may be a combination of 7 and 8 as well as 10 5 split. Uh, why? Because the course is all about the definitions and the theory part. Later, explain about the business entities as well as inflation and the impact of economics and non-conventional sources of finance is also a 5 mark question. Later, the joint stock company and the different sources of capitals needed under this is also one of the gunshot question. We can expect 1A as well as 1B from these concepts. Please do work out accordingly. Later, explain the differences between a positive as well as normative approach of a study as well as macro versus microeconomics is a gunshot question in the second part as well as recession and its relevance. Later, various sources of capital for a company and national income and theory of a firm. From these concepts, we can expect 2A as well as 2B dear students. The first unit is all about the theory. We can expect only the theory question. Later, let us look at the unit 2. Unit 2 is all about the elasticity of demand as well as the factors influence and the types of elasticity as well as the assumptions and the cross as a cross elasticity demand. Later, the laws of demands is also one of the very very important and laws of supply is a gunshot question for this time. Later, law state and uh, the usefulness of the laws of supply in decision making as well as the determinants and from this we will be getting 3A as well as 3B related to only this concept dear students. Make sure to work out each and every term related to demand as well as supply without skipping any part. Later, define supply function as well as the characteristics of demand forecasting and the needs of demand forecasting and sometimes they are asked the different methods of demand forecasting. This is also one of the gunshot question which may be asked for A as well as the difference between complementary goods as well as the substitutes may be the B question. The very short and sweet you can work out the second unit where whichever the topics I have written here they are going to come for this time for sure gunshot questions. Dear students the course is about the theory and how to score a better mark in the theory subject. I have uploaded a video in my channel please go through it and work out accordingly to get a better mark. Later define pricing and its types and returns to the scale as well as the product life cycle is one of the gunshot question which is going to come for sure this time as well as the perfect competitive market features. Later, the laws of diminishing returns as well as break even point as well as the assumptions is also one of the gunshot question which you can expect this time. As per the COVID pattern, 8 questions will be given where you are supposed to write any 5, 1, 2, 3 units you are going to get 6 questions I mean each unit 2 questions dear students. Later, the features of monopoly and the concept of return to the scale. I am expecting the concept of return to the scale for a 10 mark or 5 mark for this time. Later, the concept of cost, volume, profit analysis is also one of the question very very important and the difference between the short run and long run cost functions is asked for 5 marks. Whereas, from these concepts you are going to get one question and from these concepts you are going to get the other question I mean the fifth and sixth question. And if you look at the unit 4, unit 4 is bit lengthy in its structure you can expect a one and a half question from unit 4 or one and a half question even from unit 3 sometimes. The unit 4 is all about the problem. Sometimes they are asking 15 mark problem and 5 mark theory as well as 10 mark problem. Dear students, if you are perfect with problems, then only go with the unit 4 or you can work out 1, 2, 3 unit. Why? Because it is all about the theory, accounting and its types as well as the concepts 
and the problems as well as double entry system pros and cons is one of the 7 mark question if a problem is asked for 8 mark or this may be a 5 mark later the rule of maintaining of books for accounts a ledger account and how it is maintained and accounting equation is very very important and a gunshot question and the trail balance later the transactions capital expenditure as based on the balance sheet they are going to ask the problem these all are being taken from the earlier previous year question papers as well as the analysis done by me through going through the syllabus copy of j and u h later the carriage in words a net worth of a company and the profit and loss account is a one of the gunshot question problem related to balance sheet as well as profit and loss account of certain company these are the highlighted questions which i am going to let you know so that you are going to prepare for your exam and the fifth unit is also about the problems and it is all related to the ratios the first question is all about the ratio analysis and the importance later clash flow versus fund flow analysis turnover ratios debit equity ratio liquidity ratio as well as the quick ratio they are going to ask a problem based on the balance sheet to calculate later the types of profitability ratios as well as account ratios are helpful in inter firm comparison explain the term this is asked several number of times a student going with the unit fine need to work out all these problems later solvency ratios and the fronts from the operation explain these terms these are the uh, questions which have been taken into consideration why because these questions were asked several number times and expecting the same in the coming examination also dear students unit 4 and unit 5 we can expect the problems where you are supposed to carry your calculator where your work i mean the work the exam can be taken at the fast later i am going to let you know the remaining other courses which you are willing to uh, i mean you uh, looking for the other courses please do comment in the comment section as as well as do not uh, write in paragraph write only in points and do subscribe share as well as like my videos and if you are looking for any course please do do in a comment section hope you will perform well in the exam and score the better marks as this is a scoring subject good luck and god bless you all thank you